It's Mini Girl with HobbyHotTips.com. Thanks for joining me. Today's hot tip, how to put your miniatures onto a base so that you can paint it. And when I say base, what you hold in your hand so you can paint your miniature. Many people use different things. I've seen a ton of things. A lot of people use cork and poster tack, such as this. They get a piece of cork and they put some poster tack and then they put their mini on top and they can paint it. I use that. I believe in the UK and in Australia, it's called blue tack. If the residents that live there can confirm that in the comment section below, that would be wonderful. Where I live, California, it's actually referred to as earthquake putty. And that's so our things don't fall off of our shelves when we have an earthquake. And it's great stuff. You can paint on the edges of the putty and it'll still work just as fine. It'll stay pretty tacky. I replace mine out probably every couple weeks because it starts to get kind of dirty and achy looking. Um, here's some different size corks, small, medium, and large that you can get at your craft store. I actually use a nail polish and some tack. And the reason why I like this particular nail polish, <laughs> the brand is Nicole, is because of the shape. The way that it's shaped it is easy to hold in my hand while I'm painting, so at different angles it feels like I have a very good grip on my miniature and it's not so small where I lose grip or drop it, which I've done several times when, I'm, when I hold onto a cork. Another reason why I like the nail polish is because it has a very narrow neck. So that means that I can put the poster tack on the top of the nail polish in such a way where I can paint the edges and finish off my bases. I can paint the edges black and give it a nice clean look. I also like too the weight of it, of the nail polish, it's a little bit heavier so it won't tip over as easy as like the cork for instance. It seems to kind of knock over because it's so light. So the nail polish is my favorite and my first choice. If I'm working on several miniatures, I'll use this as my second choice. Ultimately use whatever is most comfortable in your hand. Another hot tip, a lot of pros take the putty, the tack, roll it up in a ball put it on top of a paint pot and then that way you can easily paint the sides of the miniature. Don't put it on the bottom of a Citadel pot because then you can't set it down, it'll just roll. Um, craft paints work great too, they're a little bit heavy so they won't knock over easy and you can get a good grip in your hand. Now this particular product is actually a nail polish holder, I bought it for $4 on Amazon and I love it for when I do tutorials, it helps keep my hand steady and it feels very comfortable in my hand. It doesn't knock over easy. Um, I can set it down without it worrying about it, worrying about it tipping over. Um, it fits different paints, so I can put use put it on a nail polish. I could put it on a paint pot, different brands, and even my craft paint. So it's wonderful. I love it. Um, I do notice that a lot of people have used actual baby food jars, and these are great idea for larger base models or models that don't have bases on them and they have a wide stance this works perfectly you just put some poster tack on here around the edges squish it in real good and you're set to go um, I know girl painting just did a video on that and ironically I was releasing this video also so um, her idea be sure to watch her channel and her video on how to put poster tack onto um, a paint pot, it's it's great and her tutorial is wonderful on that. So I just wanted to share my two cents and answer some questions from my viewers. I hope this helps. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.